Welcome back to The Legal Brief, the show where we crush the various legal myths and misinformation surrounding various areas of the gun world. I'm your host, Adam Kraut, and today we're taking a look at new legislation that would, if passed, ban silencers. SB Tactical, the originator of the pistol stabilizing brace, set the bar for innovation and product development in the PDW pistol category. From the insanely popular SBM4 to the adjustable SBA3 and even kits for pump action firearms, SB Tactical braces are available for a wide variety of firearm platforms in fixed, adjustable, and side folding models. To get 15% off your legally transported and carried pistol braces, use the code TGC15 over at sb-tactical.com. Recently, New Jersey Senator Bob Menendez introduced the Help Empower Americans to Respond Act of 2019, also known as the HEAR Act. And that's not to be confused with the very much dead Hearing Protection Act. In fact, this would have the exact opposite effect. If passed, the HEAR Act would make it unlawful for a person to import, sell, manufacture, transfer, or possess a silencer. That's right, silencers will become illegal for people like you and I to possess. The bill provides for the use of burn grants to implement a buyback program for silencers. It would require that the Attorney General establish and implement a buyback program within 90 days of the passage of the bill. But the bill's silent as to the amount of compensation one would receive. So there's nothing to indicate whether a person would receive the full value of the silencer, partial value, or if the government would also compensate the person for the transfer or manufacture tax paid to obtain the silencer in the first place. And as with everything that we cover here on The Legal Brief, there are some exceptions. If silencers are being imported, manufactured, sold, or transferred to government agencies, that would be okay. It even has a carve-out for law enforcement officers and specifies that the transfer would be fine if it were for law enforcement purposes on or off duty. Licensees under the Atomic Energy Act are also exempt. And the final exemption is for testing or experimentation if it has been approved by the Attorney General. During his press conference, Senator Menendez stated, silencers undermine public safety. They undermine the ability of law enforcement to do their jobs, and they undermine the ability of Americans in the midst of mass shootings to survive. No one needs a silencer to defend themselves or their home, but everyone needs to be able to hear when their lives are in danger. And that's exactly what the HEAR Act will do. Did you catch that language? No one needs a silencer. And no one needs to hear your opinion, Senator, but here we are. Congresswoman Bonnie Watson Coleman has introduced a companion bill in the House of Representatives. Based on the makeup of the House, I would not be surprised to see that the bill passed if it makes it out of committee to a floor vote. The Senate? More questionable, but nothing's guaranteed. Once again, we see another piece of reactionary legislation being introduced that would have absolutely no effect on deterring crime or promoting public safety. The reality is that the number of times a silencer has been used to commit a crime is not even a blip on the radar. But hey, why waste a crisis, right? That's it for this episode. If you learned anything from the show, help us out, hit that like button, make sure you share it around with your friends. Don't forget to get subscribed. If you enjoyed the video, consider supporting us via the links down in the video description. And as always, thanks for watching. Yep, it's over, but don't worry. You can click on the video up top to watch last week's show. And the one below that is the one that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy. Check them out and let me know what you think.